In this video, we will take a look at the external rotation stinge field test for core muscle injuries, often referred to as a sports hernia. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. In a previous video, we discussed the Doha Agreement on Groin Pain in Athletes, which classified groin pain into four entities, which are adductor-related, iliopsoas-related, inguinal-related, and pubic-related groin pain. Core muscle injuries, or CMIs, also known as athletic pubalgia or a sports hernia, would fall within the fourth entity, the pubic-related groin pain. These are characterized by abdominal wall weakening or tearing with no abdominal hernia and concomitant injuries to the insertion of the adductor longus muscle and rectus abdominis muscle on the pubis. In 2020, Kurovicki et al. proposed tests to assess for CMIs in their diagnostic cohort study. As a standalone test, the external rotation stinge field test yielded a low sensitivity of 15% and specificity of 60% and thus has a weak clinical value in the diagnosis of CMIs due to the poor likelihood ratios and should be used alongside other tests within a cluster, which you can watch by a click in the top right corner. To conduct the test, the patient is in supine lying position. The patient's leg on the affected side is placed in full extension and external rotation. Then the patient is asked to lift the leg off the table against the examiner's resistance. Pubic or groin pain indicates a positive test. Groin pain requires accurate differential diagnosis as other possible root causes such as femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, referred pain from the lumbar spine or SI joint, share similar symptoms. You can find out more about valid assessments for these regions on our channel as well. Again, special testing has limited value and should be integrated in a consistent history as well as positive diagnostic ultrasound findings in the case of CMIs. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you want, you can check out the other tests for CMI by clicking on the playlist to my left. These tests will make their way into our assessment ebook as well as our assessment app for iOS and Android. For more in depth lessons on clinical reasoning in musculoskeletal conditions, check out our online courses. Links are in the video description down below. And in case you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.